And today we're going to take a look at the free marketplace content that is available for the month of March from Epic Games for the Unreal Engine. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at the free marketplace content that is made available by the guys at Unreal Engine for 2020. So the match version is here and it comes with about five different things that you can get for the month of March. And there is one permanently free content that is now available. And this month release actually caters to a wider audience as we do have things for animation, developers, props. And finally, for architectural, you know, developers or architectural artists. So depending on what you're doing or depending on what you want to do with Unreal Engine, there is something free for you this month that you're going to get. So we're going to start off with the very first one that has to do with the ability pack. So the ability pack actually comes with a couple of things. And right now, this is the first entry for the ability series that provides eight ready abilities that you can use for your game. And it consists of you being able to slow time, freeze time, reverse time, you know, speed up a couple of things. And a very interesting one has to do with teleportation. So in case you want to create that next level game where you want all of these things to be available, and let's say you want to give your character that set of abilities, you know, to get things going directly in game, then of course you should consider getting this asset that is presently available for free for the month of March. And it's interesting how you can use the ability pack to manipulate time. And at the same time, I think this is definitely going to change the way the story of a game kind of looks and feels like going to the fact that you have a collection of eight ready to use abilities that you can throw into your game without spending so much time and get things going. Moving on to the next one. The next one has to do with the Android native goodies. And the Android native goodies gives you the ability to interact with Android native functionalities directly here in Unreal Engine. Of course, this isn't the only place where you can get this as this is also available for Unity. So if you go over to the Unity store, of course, you're going to be able to see this. But right now in Unreal, this is one of the free contents that is available for the month. And you can see all of the features that you can have access to. Of course, you can have access to the native UI, which means that you can go ahead and show up dialogues and play with things at the same time. You be able to have access to things that has to do with hardware you know you can toggle things on and off get the device information and play with some of the native apps that exist directly in android and some other good things that you can also play with or some other good things which you also need to know about is when you're trying to work with this they do have a couple of things that have been exposed directly in blueprints which means that you don't necessarily need to go and hard code these things again you just simply need to work with the blueprints and get this thing going and the support for this particular one goes all the way from unreal engine 4.18 all the way to Unreal Engine 4.24. And in case you want to work with this stuff, there is a link to the documentation, which has to do with GitHub. And at the same time, you can also go ahead and check out the one that is available for Unity, just in case you want to compare contrast and see what features exist for both parties. And when it comes to development, this is actually supported for two platforms, which include Windows and Mac. So there you go. If you want to play with this tool, it's available for free this month. And with that said, let's move over to the third one, which is the first person shooter assault pack. Of course, this is a collection of materials, you know, meshes and animations that has been optimized for first person games. So in case you want to create your own or probably you're just simply looking for things that you would like to play with or props that you want to get directly in your game. There are 10 meshes that are presently available and this include a set of arms, bullets and also assault rifle. This also comes with about 36 different textures just in case you want to play with the textures. Of course, they do have particles and animations that ranks all the way to 38 animations, which gives you options like walking, running, shooting, you know, eye on sight, reloading and so on and so forth. And if you're looking into creating a first person shooter game, I guess this pack is one pack that you should really, really consider. Although this pack right now doesn't have any sound or level of detail assets that has been included in this, but they do have a huge amount of, you know, assets that you would definitely find very rewarding. Now let's talk about the Phonix Animation Pack 3. Now the Phonix Animation Pack 3 is going to give you so much life. Life in the sense that if you're into architectural visualization or probably you're just into designing stuff and you want a couple of idols around your scene, 
then you would definitely definitely like this one because it comes with about 17 animation that has a lot of things all baked in together this is rigged to the epic skeleton so in case you want to do some retargeting you can also do that directly there and a cool thing is you can have those animations that you kind of have a hard time getting into on real engine things that has to do with swimming idle swimming underwater your character just being idle for no reason you know typing on the keyboard using a handheld device touching those things that are very very natural that you kind of find very interesting to recreate but then you probably don't find the animation to have these things in or you kind of have it in a third party application but you cannot migrate these things into unreal engine right now you can get these things and you can use them and i see a whole lot of use cases for this especially for architectural visualization and at the same time for guys that are trying to create cinematic experiences and you just want these things to just be in your scene lazing around and making your scene look very very alive and finally for the free content that is available for the month of march there is the ultimate architectural visualization kit so if you're into architecture or you're into visualization i think this is definitely the number one stop kit that you should use because this kit as it stands right now does not have anything that has to do with c or even coding all you have to do is just simply use blueprint and you can import any model that you're working with directly into unreal and you can do a couple of things that would definitely take you way more time to do you can toggle between your cameras you can open and close doors by just simply using the blueprint at the same time you can create a live mini map of your scene directly using this asset that is presently free so in case you want to learn in case you want to use this in case you want to get into doing things like this there is a full tutorial about this on their youtube channel i'm going to put a link in the description so you guys can find that out and at the same time you should actually consider getting this especially if you're into architectural visualization because this is going to be a huge time saver for you and with that said let's get into the permanently free content that is now perpetually available for anyone using unreal engine and that has to do with the linta version 2 so the linta version 2 would give you the option for you to actually scan your content for potential issues and error especially if you're very technical and you want to confirm if you have the proper variables for your blueprint or maybe you have certain things that you've actually not named properly this tool would get you up to speed and actually take that burden away from you at the same time you can still use blueprint or c to recreate certain rules probably because maybe you want certain things to happen in different ways or you want to set certain rules for yourself based on the project that you're working on and of course it comes with a couple of features that will take out certain burdens away from you and these features include battery name mean selecting multiple assets at the same time and so on and so forth for the technical details here it is available for both windows mac and linux so in case you're very technical and you want to get into this technical stuff or probably you want to actually get something that you can use to get reportings and inconsistencies between things that you're working with then this tool is definitely for you and this wraps about everything that is available for free for the month of march but we are not finished because the guys at epic games just went ahead to announce today that they do have a flash sale that is going to be giving 50 percent off a hundred plus you know things that is available on the marketplace so in case you want to get these things link is going to be in the description for you to get it as this is going to be available all the way from now till the 6th of march and we actually have a very limited time which means it's only three days that this is going to be available so in case you want to get this you can of course go over to the marketplace and you'll be able to save 50 percent of anything that you're purchasing of the marketplace i think with things like this rp games is actually giving opportunities to everyone so that you can get this and if you go over to the marketplace all you have to do is go over to the section where we have the flash sales and you'll be able to see all of the things that has the 50 percent discount and you can scroll all the way from page one 241 to simply check what you want and see if you can get them for half the price and that's going to be about it i'd like to know what you guys think about all of these tools that we've talked about and all of the assets that we've talked about in the comment section which of them best suits you and which of them do you think ranks out as the best for this month tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and of course if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace